How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a health question. Out of all the fitness topics circulating the internet, this question is tremendously popular. And in my opinion, the majority of videos out there providing answers are either misleading or contain way too much fluff. In the words of Sweet Brown, Ain't nobody got time for that! So let's cut to the chase. Is it possible to burn fat and gain muscle at the same time? And if yes, how do you do it? I am going to answer both of these questions from a scientific perspective with no fluff. Before I go any further, please support the channel by leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell to ensure you stay up to date on new videos. First off, yes, it is absolutely possible to burn fat and gain muscle at the same time, if you are referring to time as over a period of weeks and months. This process is known as body recomposition, and there are countless examples of individuals who transform their body from manatee to great white in a matter of months. So how do you do it? Well, based on current science and personal experience, you need to make three key adjustments to not just see results, but sustain them as well. Participate in a periodized training program, consume high quality macronutrients, and properly manage rest and fatigue. Notice how I didn't mention anything about measuring your caloric intake or bringing in a calorie deficit. There are two reasons for this. First, you will never be able to pinpoint a precise daily calorie expenditure. This is influenced by a number of different factors that are difficult to quantify. So if your expenditure fluctuates every day, how are you supposed to know whether you are getting the right amount of calories? In my opinion, this just creates extra work and confusion for an underwhelming return. Take it away, sweet brown. Ain't nobody got time for that! Second, if you make the three adjustments I outline in this video, you should put on a significant amount of muscle. That muscle will consume more calories to maintain and should eat up a good chunk of adipose tissue that you already possess. I like plans that are both realistic and sustainable. In my opinion, calorie counting is neither for most individuals, especially those who work and live a busy lifestyle. So let's have a closer look at the three key adjustments to achieving successful and sustainable body recomposition. Periodization training is the deliberate manipulation of training variables to optimize performance, prevent overtraining, and maximize results. Variables including workout duration, load, and volume are planned out over a specific period of time to achieve these objectives. These programs are not only extremely effective, but they typically don't get stale. Each workout is different every single day. One day you're doing a 3 rep max, the next day you might be doing a 30 minute steady state cardio piece. In my experience, this leads to better engagement, increased compliance, and consistency, which are pivotal to yield results. You can make one of these programs yourself or check out some of the stuff created from other fitness professionals. A lot of these programs are free or very inexpensive and pretty straightforward to follow. Choose something you like and can stick with for an extended period of time. Moving on to the second adjustment. Even though I denounce calorie counting, proper nutrition is still quite important. Not only do you need to be consuming appropriate amounts of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, but you you need to be consuming the right ones. Think of macronutrient consumption the same way as types of gasoline at the pump. Better gas leads to better performance on the road from your car. Better macronutrients leads to better performance in the gym from your muscles. Here's a very general guide of high versus low quality macronutrients for your reference that I borrowed from a friend of mine who's a dietitian. Notice how choosing high quality macros doesn't necessarily need to break your bank. Raw spinach, carrots, lentils, and eggs are extremely nutrient dense and really relatively easy on the wallet. If you're looking for a custom tailored plan, I highly encourage you to speak with a dietitian. Anyone can call themselves a nutritionist or a nutrition expert, but it takes a lot of work and time to become a dietitian. Moving on to our last adjustment, which involves rest and recovery management. It is virtually impossible to operate at maximum effort every single workout, especially in a periodized plan. Not necessarily because your muscles will burn out or the added injury risk, which are still valid. It's because your brain could get a little foggy. This fogginess is also known as central nervous system fatigue, and it can be just as debilitating as sore muscles. It's not the sensation of mental exhaustion following a heavy workout, but rather defined as a reduced ability to maximally activate a muscle. This added drain might lead to an unplanned rest day or illness, which could keep you out of the gym for a while. I'm not suggesting to add in three to four rest days a week, but it is important to ensure your program has days where you 
aren't necessarily working at maximum effort. One or two days could be technique focused, using lighter weight. Or maybe you can throw in what I call a brain dead day, where you're doing activity that doesn't require much thought, but still contributes to the greater goal. Steady state cardio is a good example of this. Making sure you're getting a minimum of seven to eight hours of consistent sleep per night will also help tremendously. Sleep is the only time your body's central nervous system can recharge and repair itself. Making sure your gym days and sleep schedule are both consistent helps conserve energy as well. So less stress is on the brain and more energy can be devoted to working hard. So to sum up the keys to sustainable fat loss and muscle gain, periodize your workout plan, eat high quality macronutrients, and manage rest and recovery. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching and stay strong.